happened a long time ago. This was like before the Celtic Tiger started to bite. And I used to hang around with this friend of mine, Mary. Mary. Mary's kind of a vortex in the same way I'm an anti-vortex. Things would happen around Mary all the time. And he decided uh, we would go to Galway. Um, myself and yeah. a colleague of hers set dancing. The loan of a house from some teachers who were from the Midlands. So we arrived in Galway on a stormy sort of night and we arrived at this house about 9pm. We were shocked to find uh, four young teachers sitting around in their bathrobes sipping hot chocolate. They were horrified at this incomprehensible behaviour at 9 o'clock on a Friday night and ready to go out for a night on the town. Uh, basically two different species of women meeting each other. So we got out of the house as fast as possible after dumping a key. Uh, so off we went out on the town. Much of the night has disappeared into fragments. We were definitely <laughs> in nothing, possibly the tubber. Uh, we were in the crane too. I've seen somebody very like Sharon Shannon playing the accordion. A nightclub with red walls. What happened? An intimate old flavour crash. And a frenzy of the evening. It came to about 3 a.m. anyway. We were bouncing between pubs and clubs and it was time to go. Partook in something that I am ashamed of to this day, but in my defence I will say this was a long time ago and so we just all decided that back to the house. So we arrived back to the house without incident, it just would not open the door. The whole house was dark, obviously the teachers from the Midlands were tucked up in their little bit to get out of their beds for anything. She sat in the car, uh, completely unruffled from the night out. I saw and Mary attack the house with uh, uh, our Swiss Army, Army knives and various tools, tools and we couldn't get into the house. Suddenly Mary had this amazing idea. I know. Guard station and they have magic keys there. I know they have magic keys because I've seen it in the streets of San Francisco. I was amazed. I said that is genius. So we piled into the car and took off for the Garda station. Into the car park and was tumbling into the car at the counter. I stumbled around in the middle of the room making a few circumnavigations uh, with my hands out, mostly because I was wearing a furry Russian hat which I used to love but it used to fall into my eyes all the time so it used to, so I was completely blinded stumbling around and our friend uh, marched straight up to the notice board with her arms crossed began to read all the signs from left to right in order. The guard in question at the counter was actually very sympathetic to our plight to us that there are no such thing as magic keys, just we get back in the car, drive back to the drug still and try and open time and send out uh, a guard on a motorbike. He couldn't do anything either, stuck into the city centre and there was, there was one bed left and our ass disappeared in the door, up the stairs, got the bed, sleep in the kitchen and Mary, uh, she's a traveller, like she travels to different countries. She curled up on this tiny bench in the kitchen and just fell asleep straight away on a tiny bench like that. So I was sitting around the kitchen when the boy, pudgy, spotty, fair haired, sweaty kind of creature, decided it was about five o'clock in the morning and I was starting to be uh, hungover, literally chasing me around the kitchen table. Mary up and say, Mary, we have to get out of here. This guy. And she was not very happy with me. We piled into the car and drove out to Spittle uh, where we both managed to tap it. Uh, a couple hours
Thank you.